Howdy folks, this is Lee. I just wanted to show you something uh, real quick. This might be a, something that some of you might want to do. Uh, this is the time of year, early spring, when people are trying to head start uh, some of their garden plants, uh, vegetables, uh, and even flowers, you know, by seed. Um, and you go into the store and you can see all sorts of, you know, head starting, you know, seeding trays and seeding pots and little plastic greenhouses and stuff in this store that you can buy. Um, and all that stuff adds up. I mean, if you were to really, you know, fit your whole garden or start your whole garden with, you know, those seeding trays, you know, and if you bought those every year, um, that can all add up. But, uh, what I wanted to do is show you real quick, um, an idea that you could do that is just as effective, if not possibly even better than some of those store-bought, uh, seeding trays and starter kits that you can do with stuff that you've got laying around your house. Um, toilet paper rolls or, uh, used, uh, 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 paper towel rolls like these. Cut those things up and recognize this. This is an old uh, chicken rotisserie container from your grocery store. My family eats a lot of chicken and just occasionally, you know, maybe once a month or so, we'll, uh, you know, in a pinch, buy rotisserie chicken or whatnot save these things um, especially right around you know February March around that time frame save them clean them out get all that chicken grease and stuff out of them clean them out save them and uh, what they do combination of these little cardboard rolls with this little plastic old recycled chicken rotisserie container makes a little seed starting greenhouse kit um, you would want to cut the cardboard rolls to the right size to where they're you know flush, pretty much flush, if not a little bit below the top of the, the black, <coughs> excuse me, the black plastic base for the, the rotisserie chicken container. So all of these are, are flush with the top. Um, I think I've got 14 of these in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 14. Um, and so I've, I've, you know, saved old toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls. Uh, Cut them up to the right size, put them in here. We're just going to fill this in with some uh, uh, a blend of some potting soil and some other soil that I've I've got, and then we're going to uh, use this as a, a seeding uh, starter kit. No, no longer will we have to go to the store with the sole purpose of buying an actual seeding starter kit. We're just going to use some things around the house um, and see how it goes. I did this last year and it turned out really good, and so I figured I'd make a video of it this year. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to fill this up with soil, put some seeds in here. I don't know yet which seeds we're going to use in this one, but we'll figure it out. So stay tuned. Okay, folks. So now we've got uh, the, the toilet paper and the uh, paper towel rolls uh, in here. You can kind of see the outline of uh, one of them right here. We filled it in with some uh, potting soil and some compost mixture that I had. Um, I added a couple of, uh, oh, maybe a teaspoon of uh, miracle Grow, and you can see that that's what this these little pellets are right here. Uh, there's another pellet. So in between here, we've got these uh, we've got these toilet paper paper towel rolls in here, um, and as as you know. Over time, this this dirt is going to settle a little bit more, and so you'll see this uh, these rolls pop up a little bit more over time. But since this is just uh, brand new, basically brand new soil, and I just moistened it a little bit, it's still uh, you know raised up a little bit higher. But it, it'll settle after a while. Lid on, um, and make sure it's nice and sealed. Um, and for the first couple of days, just check it to make sure that, you know, moisture is kind of collecting on the sides of the plastic here. Uh, obviously, you want to put it in a sunny place. I'm putting it right next to this window. It's a pretty cloudy uh, and rainy day, so the sun's not really shining too intensely. But typically, this window gets some pretty good sunshine. So I'm going to keep it next to this window. Um, and you want to check this over the next couple of days to make sure that there's some condensation building up on the inside of this. If not, 
um, then that might be an indication that you don't have enough water added to the soil. You don't want to overwater it, um, but you just want to, I kind of want to make sure that there's just a little bit of condensation forming uh, along the plastic here. That kind of lets me know that, you know, the, the moisture is in there and the transpiration is happening. Uh, the evaporation process is happening with the water uh, inside there. Um, but really, that's all you really need to do. Just uh, keep the lid on it, put it in a sunny place. Uh, and just make sure your, your moisture level is right. You don't really need to get too scientific on it. Um, and then once you see the seedlings popping up, uh, depending on the type of plant that you're planting, it's your call. Um, but you can uh, uh, choose to uh, transplant them to a larger uh, planter or you can take them outside after you know the recommended amount of time. Um, so that's really all about there is, you know, you know that's really all it is, and uh, I'll uh, give you a couple status updates in the future and let you see how things are progressing, but um, really, you know, you can't really beat free, basically, you know, uh, free rotisserie chicken container, it's got the, the clear plastic, toilet paper and paper towel rolls, and the good thing about those is eventually that cardboard in there, uh, it, it'll form a good divider between the plants, and eventually when you want to transplant them outside, uh, in which case I will, uh, you can just take that cardboard and put the cardboard in the ground and it'll disintegrate over time uh, and the roots of the plants will be able to uh, spread out uh, over time. So that cardboard, it's kind of a temporary uh, separation between the plants, but eventually when you do put them outside, uh, that cardboard will disintegrate and it will not be an impediment to the plant's roots. What I've got in here, I should say, what I've got in here are cherry tomatoes. So I've got 14 little uh, uh, toilet paper rolls all throughout inside here uh, with about two or three cherry tomato seeds within each one. So um, I'll be really lucky if all 14 of them germinate and I get 14 seeds. I'll be really happy there is no way I'm going to plant 14 cherry tomato plants in my yard uh, but maybe six or seven, you know, that kind of thing. So um, if I can get, you know, six healthy cherry tomato plants out of this this year, I'll be happy. I'll consider this a job well done. So uh, like I said, uh, check back with you later, and I'll show you the status and uh, the progress of our cherry tomatoes in our homemade uh, seed starting greenhouse kit, I guess you can call it. So check back with you later. Okay, folks, and here we are with our uh, our makeshift um, rotisserie chicken greenhouse for our seedlings. Remember, I planted some tomato seeds in here, and here they are. We got some seedlings popping up, turning out pretty nice. Um, I think there's room for about 14 uh, individual seeds. Remember, I've got like uh, those toilet paper rolls, cardboard toilet paper rolls in there. And I'm going to be thinning these out eventually uh, to where they're evenly spaced. As you can see, there are a couple of them that are uh, growing pretty close together. Some right back there that are pretty close together. And so I'll, I'll thin those out so that it's uh, more evenly spaced. So just want to give you an update. We'll check back later. All right, a couple days later, and here are tomato plants in our little homemade uh uh, rotisserie chicken greenhouse. They're getting taller and I've thinned out the plants a little bit so that there's basically one plant per uh, toilet paper or paper towel roll so that it'll make it easier to, to transplant and there's not a, a whole lot of competition amongst plants that kind of stuff. So in a couple days we're gonna transplant uh, them outside and that'll conclude the video but I uh, just want to give you a quick uh, look. They're about an inch and a half, two inches high and uh, they're doing quite well. All right. Alright folks, I'll tell you what time it is. It's time to transplant. I've got the uh, garden all tilled up, ready to go right here. This is our little uh, tomato patch. There's my supervisor right there. Say hi Jace. Hi. And there's my other supervisor, making sure the tools are uh, ready to go. But uh, I've already tilled up the garden. And uh, I'll show you how we uh, transplant these uh, tomatoes right here out of the uh, out of this container here which includes these uh, toilet paper rolls so let's get started so here's a little hole that I've got here where we're gonna put in one uh, one plant and what I like to do is I like to use like a little uh, stick like this just to kind of break up um, just to kind of break up 
these toilet paper rolls inside of here. Just like this. Because that first one is always the most uh, challenging to free up. And after you free up that, that first one and get it out of there, then you've got some more room to work with for the, for the remaining ones. So like I said, I just like to break it up a little bit like this. Get my hands a little dirty. Getting it out, just like so. And in many cases, toilet paper roll already kind of disintegrates a little bit. But I still like to keep it on there just so it kind of keeps the soil intact a little bit like that. And then transplant it into the hole. I'm going to go ahead and go off camera for a second while I uh, use both of my hands to uh, transplant this in there. So you can see there's the first one and we'll continue all the way down. I'll probably put in maybe five of them, five plants into this little uh, patch right here. And you can kind of see here, well, hopefully you can kind of see here that uh, in some cases the toilet paper roll is still nice and intact but it's damp enough that it's not going to take a little bit much uh, more effort for those that root system to break through. So uh, what this does is it provides a really nice way to transport your your plants once you've got them started. I've already got uh, quite a few of them in here and we'll uh, just keep on going. Okay folks, so there you have it. I've planted four of my tomato plants uh, into the ground here. I've got another plot that I'll show you in a little bit where I've got a much larger area where I'll plant the rest of my tomatoes but uh, I was really only aiming for about maybe uh, a half dozen or so plants this year but uh, I've got four of them in the ground right here there's a pretty quick way of uh, getting those seeds started and uh, I've done this this way for a couple of years now and uh, I've had some really good results and so uh, here's what the rest of the plants look like set my drink right here and uh, you can see that the plants that are still left are doing quite well what I like to do is uh, kind of move this over so that the rest of the soil over here doesn't fall fall back but uh, the rest of these plants will end up in the ground uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day at my next plot but uh, yeah just wanted to show you a very quick way this is a very successful and uh, I've got some photos uh, that I'll show you of some other years um, in which I've had some some good success using uh, this approach with some cherry tomatoes. So uh, take a look at these photos. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening.